Good development. <laughs> okay, one of the things here when Visual Studio first came out, so this is only one version. This is one example phone. This basically another version. Another version. This is what you're looking for, right? Yeah. yeah. Then it came out with the same thing as the Why not? Oh, you can develop it. How do you get to it? How do you get to it? Yeah, yeah. So the, the thing you need to remember from here is... Yeah, yeah, Dev 11 start tools and everything. But that's right. So everything is through this chunk. No, like you can develop... So you go to this chunk, get your start screen. I think we support... And then if you want, you can go to... So right now, like in, in like, uh, 2010, go we only go back to start, You go back to here. Um, so so I, I, any action that you do at least, in the corner, there's some action. But so, you should be able to go back and still be able to... Yeah, yeah. I think, I think you'll still be able to go back maybe as far as like 3.5. Yeah, it doesn't look like anything. My fingers are a little sticky from my specialized place. So if I want to install Windows 8 on my brain, I'm going to the Metro interface. It's going to be... No, no, no. So no, you can yeah, use a mouse for simulating everything that you have, that I'm showing you. <laughs> Do the same thing. In fact, this one is not a touch machine. It has only a regular laptop, basically. So you can use your keyboard and mouse to do all this. So the tablet, do you have a desktop? Sorry? The desktop time? Yeah. No, on this well, one. Well, it's all, you know, it depends this on how the Windows RT runs it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also .NET 4.5. Yeah. So, That's the start button. Uh, they made the oh, first and I got that 4.5. So I can still run my silver light on the Yeah. yeah. I don't start anymore. I don't start hiding over here. I know Visual Studio. Everything you can do. It's still there, but you just have to figure it out where it is. Yeah, basically, without, without something that supports oh, the minority, yeah. but you can't even get it. Oh, I thought that it was only on one. Yeah, yeah. So but how do you run uh, on so the tablet? Yeah. 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 I think what happens is the rolling is still there. How do you run two apps? Uh, I was showing that. Uh, somehow I was able to run on the laptop. You know, because they're going to say, okay, uh, I have to go up to the office to type up my, my work on my project. You have to hold it down. We'll see how it goes. I mean, I, I mean it really goes to hard work. See what kind of hard work these factors come out. And it also costs a lot of costs. Hey, how's it going? Uh, I found like laptop and it has to be the 7 and 1 and 3. But I don't want to wipe out the Windows 7. Oh, dude, the best way to do it is you're not sure for. Do you know Scott Hanselman's blog? I, I, uh, I'm spending uh, one in running it. Okay, gotcha. What you can do is you can actually create a bootable VHD. Okay. And, and, that'll, and you can actually basically like, carve out like 40 gigs or so of space on your Windows One application. Like, that's how much I did for mine. Like, no, you need, you need that'll allow you to dual boot off of uh, either Windows 8 or Windows 7. Uh, and you won't have to wipe out anything at all. By default, uh, Windows 7 is still like the primary OS embedded in the operating system. They basically go and create like a virtual hard drive on top of your existing one. It doesn't require you to partition anything either. Gives you all nope. the How do I do it? So I'd say go and um, go onto Google or Bing and search for Scott Hanselman Windows 8 installation, and he basically outlines all the steps for that. Yeah. Oh, all right. Uh, I can do that. So, yeah, you're yeah. Okay. So the you can get, I mean, you can pick up one down there, but I'm only for X, uh, X64. It takes so up the entire screen. Uh, okay. Why do we? That should work. Um, you can grab a VHD down at the end of the table there. Well, not the VHD, a thumb drive that has the ISO installed. And that should do it too, right? So I'm not sure if it's formatted to be bootable, so you might have to have your own thumb drive for that. Um, but it definitely has the raw files that you need for Windows 8 Instant Retrieval. That way you don't have to try to download it off the crappy internet connection yeah. right here. Uh, okay. Keep yeah. scrolling between apps. Yeah, but yeah no worries. The world one, I think, is the key, yeah? Yeah, you'll be extending the screen, basically, right? Yeah.